So people might think that statisticians sit in their office all day, but I found myself on a wooden canoe in a river, fishing for piranha, avoiding the crocodiles and the anacondas. So I've got the coolest job in the world because I get to combine maths and stats and data and that's intellectually challenging but then to translate that knowledge to other areas, many people in many fields, I get to talk to them and address their problems. Hi, I'm Distinguished Professor Kerry Mengerson and I'm a statistician at QUT. Science is a really important part of my job because I get to solve really interesting and challenging problems across health environment and industry. Some of the latest technological advances in our field are using things like satellites to map crops, using drones to find koalas, using underwater microphones to be able to track whales in the bay, using video cameras to be able to work out the complexity of teams in sports. So my career highlight now is to be able to bring new technology to use drones satellite data, virtual reality, wearables, to be able to bring that with the data and to be able to answer questions that we've never been able to answer before. I decided I wanted to be a statistician when I was at university. I was interested in maths and English and this way I could bring them both together to use those skills and computing to then answer lots of questions in many different areas. I'm really excited about this new field of data science because it brings together people in maths and stats and computer science with experts in domain sciences and we mush all of that together to be able to really solve problems of interest. What motivates me is to be able to push the boundaries and change the world and to be able to grow a new generation that is data literate and can use data wisely. So my day begins by considering a problem that we have and identifying the data that we need to solve that problem. Now those data can come from many different sources and then we look at the characteristics of those data and often it's this big, lots of different dimensions and we need to then reduce the dimension of the data to identify what the really important parts of those data that can tell the story about that problem. And then we need to be able to interpret the information that we get. We can use techniques that we already know to be able to solve that. But sometimes we don't have those techniques, so we need to develop those. And so that's where we bring our mathematical and statistical skills to be able to develop those new solutions and then feed that back to be able to solve the problem. And that's our day's work. So what drives me in my field is that the data that's around us just keeps getting more complex. So it's now coming from wearables and from satellites and from sensors in buildings. So data is just exploding and we really need people who can analyse those data wisely. So there's a real demand for people who have the skills of statisticians and data scientists. So my advice for anybody who wants to change the world by being a statistician or a data scientist is to do maths and computing. The thing that I'm most proud about in, in my career are my students. They're an amazing group of people that have come from many different countries and many different walks of life and learnt about statistics and data science and then taken that knowledge out to solve many different problems in many fields of science. What I love about my job is I get to use maths and stats and computing but I get to talk to many different people in many different places in many different fields. So people might think that statisticians sit in their office all day but I found myself on a wooden canoe in a river fishing for piranha, avoiding the crocodiles and the anacondas. I went to the Amazon to create a jaguar conservation corridor. I went to Southern Africa for the conservation of cheetahs. I work with the Great Barrier Reef to be able to predict the health of the reef. I've worked in Southeast Asia where we were looking at export biosecurity issues. We've done a lot of work on airports and uh, airport congestion. We do a lot of work with sports institutes around athlete performance and the Olympic Games. 
We've done a lot of work with uh, medical researchers around uh, being able to identify tumours in images and all of that work's been in recent years. Some of our upcoming projects are in the Antarctic and in space. I may even get to go to the Antarctic, I'm not sure about going to space. There's data everywhere, so the ultimate question for me is how we can use that data in a trustworthy manner to answer questions that we care about.